Hello everyone, this is Vicky, Stitch and Button, and Gunner, who got hungry as soon as I pressed start, so we're going to go with it. I am fresh off the retreat, it's the retreat hangover. Today is Tuesday the 21st of June, yeah, I think that is. I have a big pile of stuff and I started pulling it all out of the suitcase and I piled it up on the table and I said, I need to do an after retreat video because there's no way I'm holding on this stuff on this table until my next video. So you get a little extra. I have not planned this out as far as chronological order. I'm not that organized. I mean, I can be organized, but let's just say my brain hurts. It's been a long couple of days, five, six days. So we're gonna just wing it and I will just show you what I got, tell you the stories that I have in my brain right now. And uh, hopefully it'll be more now than it would be next week anyway. Anybody that's been to a retreat, it all mashes together after a while. So let's start out with my flight. I flew out of Orlando which is about an hour and a half, hour, 45 minute drive from my house. My flight was Wednesday morning at like seven o'clock in the morning, which means I had to be there about five. We left at 2.30. Left at 2.30, went to the Wawa, got some snacks because you need purse snacks for the flight, right? I am one that uh, doesn't like to drink a lot of uh, fluids before I get on the plane because my butt is bigger than the air than the air bathroom. I've gone to one of those bathrooms once, only out of necessity, and I try to avoid it at all costs. So, but I do get snacks because they give you the plain crackers, which is literally a cracker in the shape of a plane, and they give you water that doesn't have a cap, and I don't want to drink the whole cup. So, my routine is per snacks. And then after I go through TSA, I bought a, buy a bottle of water and that lasts me after the flight because I only take a few sips, but you always get that dry mouth getting on the plane. So did that. I did not stitch on the plane. I was tired. I had been up since one o'clock in the afternoon the day before and uh, I slept on the plane as much as I could. It was probably like two 20 minute naps or so. Got into San Antonio and I went to go pick up the rental and my plan was to pick up the rental and just basically go to sleep in the car until Jen, J Long, and her mom arrived, which wasn't going to be until one o'clock and I had gotten there right before nine. So I had some time. Their flight was delayed by an hour. So then it was two o'clock they were coming in. And I got to the rental place and they wouldn't release because I didn't have a major credit card on me to pay and I had already paid with my debit and it was a mess. So I had to wait for them to come in so we could get the rental car. So I basically walked around the terminal like Tom Hanks in the terminal. And uh, I still had a couple purse snacks so that held me over. I uh, had a neck pillow and a big suitcase and a smaller suitcase so a couple of times I just put the neck pillow on top of the big suitcase and face planted on it for about 15-20 minute naps not much sleeping you can do I can't with people walking around they finally got in we went and got the rental car and headed right to the hotel got to the hotel plopped our stuff down and then went to forage for food because we were hungry what did we get we got water bar water burger I had not had that before. It was okay. A lot of people really love it. And I, I mean, I would, I would eat there again. I just, it wouldn't be my, oh, I got to go have one. I might be in the minority on that. So, but it was okay. And then, uh, we had time after that. And I know we went back to the hotel. I don't remember anything else. We might've went to bed early because we were beat it was a long day thursday was the start of the retreat thursday um it started like three in the afternoon 
So we had gotten up and had breakfast at this at this um La Quinta. They had waffles in the shape of Texas. And then other breakfast things. So we did have breakfast and uh and basically we had to wait around for the stitch room to open at three, which was at three. It was not before that. So there was a lot of milling around and as people showed up and everything, we, you know, saying hi to everybody. And then they opened up the stitch room. And from then it's a blur. We stitched, I stitched little bits. I did get some stitches in. I, I think I stitched, I managed to stitch on all four of the projects I took. So there's that. That I'm not going to show today because I'll show it for my video. But I did take four projects. I took uh, 12 Days of Christmas from Plum Street. I took Garden Prelude. Maurice the Moose. from The Christmas Moose from Panna. And um, Silver Moon Tea. Because I used that for full coverage Friday. So I did stitch on those. And a lot of us, uh, there was a big group of us, we had exchanged gifts, so that's all in here. And I'm going to do my best to show you what I got and what I took, because I know a lot of people had wondered what, you know, what kind of things do you take to the retreat. One of the things I would suggest is a power tower, what I call a power tower. This one I bought, I caught a flash sale on Amazon. It was only... $14 when I got it. I think it's $30 now. They're worth it though. It has eight plugs, four USB ports, plus the, this one has an on off switch for the top and the bottom. I have one that just has an on off switch at the top. It has a pretty long cord. Works pretty well. It came in handy at our table. I also took my iPad, which I didn't even use the whole time, so I think I'm not going to take that anymore. It just added weight. That I have to carry in my purse. And I took my tablet, which had um, Pattern Keeper and then my PDF reader, which I did use. So that would go again. Uh, what else did I take? I took uh, my magnet board, which I did end up using. And on there, since I have it, I have two needle minders that I got. This one was from the retreat. This one we received at the retreat. This one I got from Carly. I stitch what I want. And um, I think that was it for the needle minders. What I'm going to try to do is sort of pile things in. To hold my tablet at a better angle and um, to hold my... I'm looking for them. And to hold my, my magnet board, I have these fold-up things that I get. I, I think I got them from AliExpress if I'm not mistaken. I might have got one for Walmart. I don't know. But they work really well because they fold up and they're pretty lightweight. I also took this accessory bag. I made this a few years ago. I made one for me and one for my friend Gina. And it's got pockets and it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there. There's pencil and and um, reader glasses and scissors and a stylus. And <laughs> I just saw that stylus and I even have a small embroidery hoop in there tons of needles stitch guide got a quarter gauge uh, this is for fabric stitch guide like I said tons of needles I even have some beading needles in here I think uh, here are two things that I received these are from Vicki uh, I still have threads on it. These are from Vicki, um, Reading and Stitching. She gave, she made each one of us this little collapsible box. It's a little tray, and she put our name in it. She used our favorite colors, and she gave us a small stylus. And Vicki, if you gave us something else, I don't remember right now because it's not in front of me. But I use this all weekend. I put orts in it. I put my pen. It just kept everything sorted together. My pen, my scissors I would pop in there, my highlighter, stuff like that. Um, what else did I take? I didn't use it, but I did take the thread conditioner. I took Evil Queen. It smells like apples. Um, 
I also took my Frogger. I have a Frogger that, that went in the tray because it was easier to find in the tray. Anyway, there's an assortment of things in here. Um, I'm looking to see. There's some extra batteries in there for this light that I took and I didn't. It, it's one of those neck lights. Oh, here it is. I ended up not using it, but somebody might have needed it. So, and it's easy enough to pack. It takes AAA batteries. Has a couple of uh, settings. And you could do them one or both. What else is in here? There's uh, some beeswax. Nobody wanted the beeswax. I was trying to give away beeswax because I have tons of it and don't really use it as much. A seam ripper and a cord for my rechargeable light, which is in a project bag. I have a clip-on light that I bought from Amazon, less than $20. And um, it recharges via USB. Okay. So that's what's there. I'm trying to put things off to the side here. Okay. That. Then, also, at the table, so I have right now at the table stuff, we received a couple of free charts. Two from, one from Barefoot Needle Art, and it says, Stitching makes magic happen, and there's no copy of the, I mean, it's just a copy of the chart. It's not a picture. So it's words in a really cool frame. And then we got a, a freebie from Bella Filipina. Also, we received, it was in a bucket. Was that all in the bucket? I think, I think it was in a bucket, which I gave back because she'll use them again. I already have a bucket I use. But um, she gave us beads and a in here no it's not in there where did I put it oh my goodness guys oh I won a door prize also because she had on the bottom of the bucket there were stickers and she had duckies that we had to choose and mine was 54 I got this little senorita ducky and uh so I won this little bag. You got to pick stuff that was up there. And uh, here. So she gave us all these beads. And silk lame braid. These, these were all from Leslie. Some treasures. We had a little name tag. Plus we had a name tag thing. I don't know where that went. It's probably my purse. Some more beads. And then we all got Threadworks. Mine was red, which was pretty, but Andrea needed um, red for something and she had blue and blue's my favorite color. So of course I traded with her. And um, I should have opened with this, but... Oh, it didn't. Oh. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me the first time I opened it. I think half the room jumped when they opened theirs. And it just folds up. It's the logo. And it's a fan. It. Oh my goodness. So maybe I folded it wrong. I'm really bad at this. I have a sun visor that does this for the car. And I still don't. I never do it right. Anyway. And it folds up in this little handle thing. So when you. A little bit my face is flush from getting a little too much sun before the flight yesterday. Let me see if I can. Okay, I think. It's got a little pocket. You need the pocket because I, I wouldn't want it to just randomly open, open up and scare the crap out of me. I don't know if my bladder can take it. So that's that. Um, all these little beads for it because there's beads that go down in here and some treasures and stuff. And then we received this from Witchy Stitcher. Welcome to the coven. So those were all at the table with a bunch of candy, which I have a bunch. And, oh. And then these little scratchers. Now it says Happy Valentine's Day, but it's all about the mermaid. And it's one you just scratch with a little wood. 
you scratch the little lines and it's rainbow behind it. So I'm gonna put that away. Put that there. When Andrea got there, she had little gifts for us. And it's in this little bag. And I'm pretty sure these were from Andrea. It was these little socks. Now, if it wasn't from Andrea, then it was from Vicki, but I'm, I can't remember. I can't remember. It, it all fluttered in, and we all... And I got this scrunchie. Let's put my scrunchie on. How about that? Uh, these little spoons that hang on your cup. I'll take one out so you can see it. It's a cat, and it hangs in your cup. She gave us two. And then I got a keychain with a sloth. Cute as that. Throw that out. And then we got lotion. This one's rose lotion. And I had a bath bomb too, and I don't know where it's at. There's a little round bath bomb. So put that away. All right. Gifts. I also placed an order with Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery, which is Sammy J. And she brought my stuff, which I always use tons of these, so I'm always ordering. As soon as I opened up the last pack, I have one left, I ordered up another pack. And I bought the ferret, so she brought that with her. I'm not, I know there are people that need the whole entire uh, collection. I'm not crazy about all of them, so I'm being picky. And, but the ferret definitely needs to be done. Here's purse snacks. This is purse snacks for on the way back, which I did eat one on the way back. And I didn't finish, oh my goodness, they're melted together. I'll put them back in the freezer. Thin mints, the coveted thin mints from the Girl Scout cookies. All right. Vicki had us go up to her room. She brought a suitcase full of fabric she wasn't going to use. So I don't know what's what offhand. But I have random fabric. This one. It's got threads all over. Threads for days. I want to say this one almost reminds me of a fla fabric flare. It's an even weave. But it unravels like a fabric flare. I could be wrong. But it's printed on both sides. So it must not be. Whatever. Anyway, it's cool. So I've got that. I'm going to put this in this basket here. I've got this piece. These are good for smalls or ornaments. This one is we've got 25 count country mocha. Not vintage, just country. So it's just Como instead of Vincomo. That Bear with me, guys. And then I guess she started something, decided not to stitch it, and got rid of the fabric. But this big old fat quarter, this green. And I've been on the hunt for some decent green fabrics that aren't too bright and, I don't know, bright limey neon colors. More like a muted color. This is definitely a fabric flare. I got this one. This is 28 count. Ice Fractal. So I thought that would be cute for a small or an ornament of some sort. See what I mean by they fray? You'd think I'd pull out my serger, but that would be like work. Um, this one I have no idea. I think it's a linen. I don't think it's an even weave. It's like a nice blue. Might be 32 or 36 count. Probably 32. No, I'm making. Okay, I gotta cut this hunk off. There we go. Clean up my table with me. <laughs> Alright, there's this piece of Ada. It's an 18 count. I thought that was a cool color. And I may or may not use it, but she just wanted to get rid of it. She's like, don't make me throw the stuff in the trash. I'm not taking it home. So I took some stuff that I may not use, but this is really stiff fabric. And I know maybe Joni wants it because she likes the stand-up fabric. 
but I thought I may be able to use it, or at least, if nothing else, I can give it away, because there's also this huge piece, which I think is like a half yard. All right. Then there's this huge piece. This is like an Afghan. And Vicky, if you're watching this, you caused me to go over by five pounds on my bag and I had to shuffle things around because I took this. It's got a, you see the print in there? It's yellow with the, so it's an Afghan thing. But, but it doesn't have the thicker blocks like this Afghan does that I got from her, it's red. So you can stitch over the whole entire thing. I think that'll be cool. So I'd, now that I'm showing you this, this is also an Afghan. I'm not opening it up. These are huge. And, but this can be used as an Afghan or just pieced out, pieced out. Uh, pieced out for other smaller things and here's an afghan this was the one with the blocks around the outside and a big opening on the center so there's that Whew. okay I just made a whole spot right there Jay Long gave me stuff she was way too good to me she uh, got us t-shirts which mine's in the wash so and it said resting stitch face with bobbins. She had me actually make them for everyone and make one for myself. And then all the bobbins had colors with people's favorite colors. She also gave me, gave all of us a bag and she gave me some extra stuff in my bag. I got hedgehog socks. We have a little hedgehog crew that she had to uh, embellish us with stuff. He's cute. Oh, look how cute that is, guys. This might have to be my... Uh, journal my slightly elated journal for next year um she bought i we all said what our animals were and stuff and i said sloth she got me this biscornu with a sloth this coffee mill hill i had ordered this and then ended up never getting it in it would there was a delay so she wasn't sure if I had it, but I ended up not having it. So it must have been a reason, right? Um, midnight. She got us our favorite colors in, in um, Overdyes. The Hedge... The Hedge... The Hedgecock Crew. <laughs> that's, that's what we call ourselves... That's, uh, that's for us also. She gave us gel pens in our favorite colors. And she got me this little slothy pen. I think, hold on. Okay, there we go. Okay, I haven't used it yet. We're not going to try that here. But look how cute he actually turns on it. Um... And I've got this notebook that says sloth mode. It's just a, like a composition book. Everybody needs paper to write on. And it, it all came in this bag. And then she got us lotion. Um, I got blackberry vanilla. Stitcher's lotion. And my hands are always dry. Let's open this up. Get rid of the packaging. Oh, wait, there's more. So, I'm going to put... What am I doing? I'll put patterns here. Patterns. Patterns. She got me this great scissor set. It came in this box. With this tassel. Look at that. You guys should be jealous. You should definitely be jealous. I'd be jealous if I were you. So, I, had, I haven't used the scissors yet. They're my first special scissors. Where? 
I heard that from somewhere. The first special. Let me know in the comments if you can remember what movie that's from, the first special. I don't know if that's, is that color purple? I don't know. It's an, like an older time movie or a southern movie type thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put this away. And my pen's over here. I'll put them in this cute tray from Vicky. All right. There's there's more from Jay Long because she had gotten stuff and she that she brought me that she had doubles of. Um, this one. It is Imperial Lady D, which has jokes now that I think about it. It's the D. But, doesn't look like the D like the silly slut does. So, she also gets Cinderella from Mirabilia, which she already has. I think she's already started it. And I didn't have it, so she brought it to me. And she had also gotten this Glendon place. And it has Ada with it. I don't know if I'll use the Ada. I may give the Ada away. <coughs> but I love that house. Excuse me, my throat's dry. Okay, and she brought a whole bunch of praiseworthy stitches, and I picked some. I picked some, and then she knows that if I end up not stitching, I'll probably give it away. But I, I, I was like, well, I can't decide. So she's like, just take, take them anyway. So I got Carol's on. Carol's on the square. I can't read backwards today. And it says, to all good night. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. And this one, this tree has got me. I love the color of that house too. But this tree has got me. And this one's similar. Sim similar. Oh my God, similar. Yeah, that too. It's got symbols in it. December snow. Let's see, I love this. It's got all those snowmen on it. But wait, there's another winter one that I loved. And this is why I said I couldn't decide. This one's, uh, it's a winter wonderland. It's called Winter at Sugar Hill. I just love all those trees and the sleigh. Everybody's cooking up some, I don't know, porridge, I guess. But I thought that was cute too. So I couldn't decide on which one I really wanted. Because in all actuality, how many of these are? am I going to stitch? Probably one. At least one. Not sure if I'd get to two or three. So, if I decide, when I decide, there'll be a giveaway somewhere. I also have Blue Moon Manor. This is a, one of the smaller ones. This one's cute. The face. Darkwing Manor. Oh, the carriage. And the ghost is. And it says, bats are in the belfry. Don't we know it, girls? Don't we know it? Then there's Ghoul's Crossing. This one says, Come, Ghoulies, Shriek, Growl, Dance. That one's going to be a huge one. Again, with all the Halloween ones, I'm not sure. I have Widow's B&B, &B, Black Widow's B&B. &B, but with all these, they're huge. So how many am I going to do? I'm not sure. But again, there'd be a giveaway then. And this one says, Bump in the Night Farm from Ghosties and Goalies. It says, Far From Ghosties and Goalies. I love this house. It's got a barn. Then there's Mummy's Moonlight Cafe. Oh. Maybe I just need to do. All the weird, weird, scary houses, maybe. And Dancing in the Moonlight. I feel like they're dancing to putting on the Ritz. Anybody else? Definitely a little putting on the Ritz. And it says woohoo. And this one is so cute. This it shouldn't take too long. Famous last words, but... This uh, creepy pumpkin stackers. Love this. And then there's Mr. Bone Starlight Starlight Ballroom. It says shape, rattle, and roll. 
I think my body was doing that. And then sale at the Bubbling Cauldron. Um, it says Bubbling Cauldron and Midnight Madness. I love the roof on this one. Okay. So those are all from Jamon. By the way, I do know that a lot of those, all those, I think all those that are there will be available at Tiny Hummingbird Stitchery. I'll put the link below. She's got a bunch of them. So I'll put the link below and you can uh, get them from uh, Sammy J. All right, I received a Mars Code bracelet with my favorite, one of my favorite uh, cuss words on it. And let's just say it rhymes with duck and it ends in muffin. And that's this bracelet right here. Sammy's daughter made us bracelets with our favorite cuss words. So we could say them without saying them. We could just, and I think I tapped it a few times in traffic, on the plane, on, <laughs> on the plane home. So we got these little envelopes. Those were cute. That was a great idea. Uh, part of Vicky's haul. She had been going through stuff, so she knew she needed to bring me. She knew I was looking for good neighbors from Paula Vaughn, because out of all the Paula Vons, I've always wanted to do good neighbors. So she brought me that. I might have to keep that up soon. I really, really, really like this one. And then she also brought me this one. It's, um, let's see if I can find the name. Well, it's not going to be helpful at all because I don't have a name and I don't have a color key. Oh, there is a color key. Phew. I was going to yell at you, Vicky. I'm like, where's the color key? She pulled stuff out of magazines. And this is from a book, I guess. Or This one must not be from a magazine. This is, has to be from a book. It just has page numbers. And it is Barbara Batts Hellman, Celtic Angel. She's pretty. I'm loving that. Look at that ribbon. Ah. So she brought me those. And then with her... With her blankets and... Blankets. And fabric that she was giving away. She had charts that she didn't want. Because they didn't do a... They didn't have a um, freebie table. And strict, simply because every year... Leslie would end up with like a big old box of stuff that nobody wanted and couldn't get rid of it and would have to drop it off at the thrift store. And she just doesn't have the time for it. And I don't blame her. You know, it's when you're going 150 miles an hour every day, the last thing you want to do is have to take a trip to the thrift store to get rid of the stuff in your trunk. So she said, no freebie table. You guys can exchange if you want to, blah, blah, blah. So that's what we did. We just went up to her room. And one of the charts that she had up there, she had this little Val stuff. And I may stitch this one. I thought that was cute. And again, if I stitch it or if I decide not to stitch it, it'll be in a giveaway. Not a problem. That away. All right. What's next? Showed snacks. Showed that. Okay. You know we did some shopping. Oh. Wait. Before the shopping. I gave away... I gave to my group... A cup. I made cups for everybody with their name on it. Tried to do their favorite colors. If they, if the, because you get random and they're color changing, but if you you get random colors, so I tried to match up the colors that they liked, and so I made myself a cup too because I knew we needed cups with lids there. Uh, I don't know where the straw is. Oh, here's the straw that goes with mine. I couldn't find it, so I took my straw from my other cup. But um, I made everybody one, and then I also made everyone one of these thread keeps with their name on it, and keychain and tassel. And again, everybody got their favorite color of vinyl on the back, and then their name in white, and the year 2022 on it. So I put those in the cup, and then I gave them all froggers with beads in the color that they liked, and I gave these little 2022 charms on these little safety pins. 
I've got a slight headache. Deal with me. So that's what I had given. Um, I had given some door prizes too with a couple of those cups with stuff in it. But uh, Leslie had stuff for sale there. And I bought this cup. This is from a previous year. But I really like the color and I love this. Little pinup girl mermaid. So I bought this one. And this one didn't come with a straw, which is fine because I had tons of straws. Jane Long bought me a cup because she knows me. And to keep it PC for the video's sake, it says with a duck duck here and a duck duck there. Here a duck, there a duck. I don't give a duck duck. Leslie's mother-in-law made these tumblers and she had a whole bunch of different ones and Jay Long bought me this one because she acts like she knows me and it has a straw with it and I don't know where this oh yeah here see came with a straw too so I've got more cups that I need right now I've got older cups that'll have to like go in the back of the cabinet now that I got these cool new ones right all right now what I went through this I went through that what we bought. So there are there were two places we could shop. Leslie had a whole bunch of stuff there, plus she had her shop open. Then there's the Tin Smith's wife, which is about 20 minutes away or so. It wasn't that far to drive, maybe 30. And we took a little trip out to the Tin Smith's wife. It's mostly for needlepoint and knitting, but they have cross stitch also, and it's the cutest shop. And then around the corner from there is a like a deli cafe type place to get sandwiches and soup and stuff. So we went to the Smith Tin Smith's wife and we got a couple of things. I bought Do I need anything? It's not about need, guys. It's not about need. I bought Erica Michaels mistletoe kisses. So cute. I bought the dot over dye threads. Um, except for the white. I don't buy over dye white. I will do a DMC white. And they had lakeside linens. So I had to grab a piece. And they had a lot of different colors. I was looking for more of a neutral. And this will work with that pattern that I bought. But I could use it for other things too. So I bought this in a fat quarter. It is, hold on, do this. It is Vintage Luna. There we go. We got a fat quarter of that. So that's what I bought from there. They were very nice. Uh, then we left there and went around the corner to the cafe where, what did I get? I don't even remember what I got. Oh, it was a very cheesy Havarti grilled cheese, which there is a picture of me eating it. I may have to insert it. Uh, after that, we went, We actually went back around to Smith to get pictures because uh, J. Long's mom wanted to get pictures of us in front of the shop. And then we headed back to the hotel. The next day, because it was too late to go over to Leslie's by then, we decided to go over to Leslie's. Now... At the retreat, I had already picked out Luna Mystica. I do like the this, this Sun one also, but I figured let me just buy one for now. Sammy ended up getting the Sun one. The Soul. So, I tried to steal it from her. And had I been uh, nefarious, I'd have gotten away with it. Because she showed it to me along with the great fabric that she bought for it. And I said, oh, this is so nice. And I looked at it and everything. And I folded it all up. And I put it in my bag, and she didn't even notice. <laughs> so the fabric I bought for that was also at the retreat, and it's this piece from Leslie. So what my thoughts are is to put it more like this. With the moon going this way. I think that's going to be great on there. And then they had, they had a lot of fabric there, obviously. It's what she does. And uh, I had picked out this piece. 
I got a fat quarter. Uh, okay, so the blue is called, it's got a name. It is called Mermaid Sea. This one is called Spellbound, and I bought a fat quarter of it. It's gray. I don't know what I'm going to stitch on that, but I like that color. And then we went to the shop. At the shop, well, she had us hold the stuff there, and I took the stuff over so I could pay for it at the shop. I bought the cup and the fabric and the charts. And then while we were there, I looked around, and I had been looking for brandy. And I hadn't been able to find it anywhere, so I was able to get it. Uh, I need it for another thing that I'm kidding up. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch some TARDIS titties. This one's called Teeny Weeny Bikinis. The doctor is in, and I had been eyeing it up for a while, and they had them. And it's got a little sonic screwdriver. Now they had a bigger version of this stitched up at the shop, and it has a bigger screwdriver with it too, which I have that that size screwdriver that I use for a Doctor Who bag that I have, and put it on the zipper pull. That's what I got from there. What else? Oh, purse snacks. All right. I, before I left, before I left for the retreat, I was contacted by uh, Molly Ollie. They wanted to send me a caddy, and I know other people have done uh, their reviews on it, but I wanted to, I had planned on doing a whole review video, but they never got back to me with the link that they wanted to give me yet, and I'm tired of waiting, basically. Uh, so my whole plan was they could send it to me because they wanted to send it in June. And I said, that's fine. If you get it to the beginning of June, I will take it to the retreat to, with me and I will test it out because I'm not going to say, hey, look, I got this. It's great. Go buy one. Unless I think, hey, this is great. Go buy one. So it gave me this QR code. Uh, they also have www.mollyolly.com slash gift to receive a gift I guess um, and they are available on Amazon what I will do is I know that they have a link I have a link for them I'll put it below and I'm just looking and double checking on here because I had some more information but I'm just gonna wing it we're gonna wing it okay so it came flattened out it folds up right and it has these dividers in it. It's a fleece, like a kind of rough, thick fleece make. And I know, it. I think it was originally marketed for a diaper bag, but it works great for crafts. And I will say it does work great because my whole intention was to take it to the retreat and see how it worked with having to carry your stuff. And it did. What I did was I opened it up and this goes in there it has a Velcro way to go in there, see? But I sort of wanted the the wider width. So one thing that I would have liked was the an extra Velcro here so I can interchange how I wanted this to go on. But it's fine, it worked. I just threw the divider in there. It has plenty of pockets, three on the long sides, and then two on the short sides, this one's just one big open pocket. This one actually zips open and holds stuff. It has an elastic here, so you can put uh, pens and stuff. It's got a pocket on the inside that has a little Velcro closure, so you can put stuff in there. And what I ended up using it for was, like, the pens that I took, I pretty much stuck stuck them on the sides there and my stylus that I had in there and I carried my four projects down by just piling them and I'll do it for you. I was able to stand them up 
and I was able to put other things in there. I put my, my tablet in there and my, uh, my iPad and I, I was even able to, oh, I already put it away. That little accessory bag, I was able to plop that in there and my cup, I was able to put in there. So, and carry it back and forth had I wanted to. Now, I had taken everything down like that, and I pretty much left it on the floor next to me so I could throw stuff in there because, again, like I said, people were handing stuff out, and I just wanted to try to get stuff off the table. The tables were full of stuff. So I was able to just plop it in there and then just take it upstairs late at the end because we left them there overnight. The, the room was uh, closed at night after the last stitcher walked out. The last stitcher was Tiffany. Um, she lives in Michigan and she she's a night owl. So usually it was her and the one night I was even up with her and we just closed up everything, turned out the lights and made sure the doors were locked. Um, I found that the bag was pretty sturdy. The handles, because my stuff was a little bit taller, they weren't too bad. It's not like I could fling it, fling it on my shoulder after that because, you know, the stuff was in the way. But I was still able to carry it. It holds a lot. I don't feel like it was going to rip because it, it did get kind of heavy with some of the stuff I was putting in there. And there were plenty of pockets so you could sort all your stuff out. And I feel like had I not had so much stuff on the table, I could have had the bag there with my, like, just a project or two and sorted all my stuff out right there. And just had it all in one spot in front of me. I used it a different way. I was also able to put my light in there. And stuff. So I liked it. I think the price point on these are about $30. If I'm not mistaken. Or $32. And um, I'll put the information below on it. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything else I was su supposed to say. Or, or look for. As far as quality and everything. Uh. Nothing seemed to have ripped, and I wasn't gentle with it, but I also didn't fling it around, like, on the, uh, on, remember the, was it, American Tourist commercials, when they had the gorilla throwing all the, all the, uh, bags around at the airport? I didn't do that, but it withstood grabbing and being heavy, and it didn't even start to tear or anything like that, so that was good. I think this was pretty good. I'll probably take it to uh, my next retreat, uh, Stitching in the Springs, because, again, for the same reasons, although I have tons of tote bags and stuff, like one like that. Actually, I have two like that <coughs> with different sayings on it. But um, that's all one pocket with one small pocket. This one has several pockets. So something like that is great for when you want to zip up all your stuff and go and be out on the but when you just want to carry from room to room or from stitching room to hotel room, this is great because you could just put the stuff that you need and, and take it along. And then when I packed up, I pretty much just emptied everything out and folded it back down and threw it in my suitcase because it's not that heavy. It's heavy duty, but not that heavy. Uh, again, I'll put the, the link below. And while they didn't pay me, they did give me the product to try. So that I guess that's payment, right? I am looking around just to see. If I forgot anything, I'll follow it up in my regular video next week, next Wednesday. I really did have a good time. I, I met a lot of great people. I met some people that I've been talking to online forever. You know, we met in person. I met new people. Uh, the the staff for Leslie is great. They were great. Uh, Amy Jane, she, she she's such a sweetheart. She's so cute. We had great conversations with her. Jay Long and I actually sat and stitched with Leslie the last night because we had stayed uh, Sunday night and Leslie was staying there. And so we got to stitch with her for a while after we got something to eat. And everything was just great. It was tiring tiring i had a great time tons of laughs with sammy and and vicky and jay long and jay long's mom and andrea and you know, carly and regina were all there and i met a new person well, i met regina for the first time carly i had spoken to before we've been going back and forth online forever and i met um 
I met Michelle and Angela and there there were so many more that I met and some of them I couldn't even tell you their names because I'm horrible with names. I've always been horrible with names. You tell me your name and poof, it's gone. And unless I see it a lot or I say it a lot, it's gone. But uh, there were some great people there. I did uh, sell some stuff, not as much as I expected to. We weren't allowed to sell out of the stitching room. So that made it a little bit harder and a lot of people didn't want to go up to rooms. I didn't want to sit in the room and say, hey, I'm going to be up in my room from this to this. And uh, just go to a retreat to sit in my hotel room. So part of it's my fault. Part of it was just the whole, the whole way it had to happen, which is fine. It's fine. Uh, it doesn't overshadow the fact that I really had a great time. I, I had a good time uh, with Jay Long. You know, I had a good time in the stitcher room with everybody else, and it it was nice. It was nice to get out of town. It was nice to go do stitchy things and sit with stitchy people, even if you weren't stitching much. Some stitch more than others, for sure. I did help Vicky finish one, but I don't get the finish for it. Go figure. Um, <coughs> she had a mill hill and had to do a flame stitch, which is basically a lazy daisy with a little extra leg in it. So I finished that up for him, but it was good. It was good to sit around. It was good to joke. It, I mean, you can do it in Zoom, but when you're right there, it's a little different. Plus, when you're right there, you can throw things at people. So there's that. And we did that too, by the way. Uh, there were no flinging of the foods, though. You, you don't fling foods around stitchy stuff. But um, I'm trying to think. I'd like to go to that retreat again. I don't know. I would hope it's not at that hotel. I wasn't <clears throat> totally enamored with the hotel. It was okay. It wasn't horrible. But a different hotel would be nice. Uh, I'm looking forward to my next retreat in November. I've got to recuperate. Thank goodness it's not back-to-back -back because I couldn't handle it. Uh, I will be going to Stitching in the Springs. That's held by Valkyrie Stitchworks, which is Kat. She works at the... something spring silver springs it's uh mill park oh my goodness i'm horrible told you names i think it's called the mill park of the park mill hotel it's at uh silver springs in ohio i'll be going with uh my best friend gina and i and some other stitchy friends and that should be a good time too that's a like a boutique hotel so we actually have the whole hotel she sold out all the rooms there's only 28 rooms and of course roommates and stuff like that but it's it's only stitchy people it's sold out for the weekend for us which is great i will be flying up to pennsylvania and taking the ride over to ohio with gina so she doesn't have to drive drive alone and then the drive back and then flying back out from up there but that's not until november that's the first week in november so that's like my my birthday gift right an early birthday gift because november is my birthday month so i can't wait for that that'll be fun also and i'll have time to recuperate from that i now need to need to log my my charts into my app i do have an app for that and i also need to figure out my inventory what bags i still have or books blah 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 and fix everything on the on the group page and i have a couple orders that I need to get out from uh, from right before I left. So, I'll be busy. I have laundry to do. Anybody want to do my laundry? Please. Okay, just cook for me. Just cook while I do this stuff. I'm hungry. I got a headache. Maybe I should take a nap. I feel like a nap would win. Maybe. Hopefully, you enjoyed my little story as much as I. No, 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 because you you're not going to, not as much, but you enjoyed the story. I had a lot of fun, which is better than hearing the story. <laughs> is that like a rub-in? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I will show you what I stitched and what I'm going to stitch up until Wednesday. I, next Wednesday, when I come back, I'll have my regular update. And... Who knows, maybe I'll have a giveaway. I have no clue. Maybe I'll feel generous and feel like giving something away. 
if you have any questions or anything like that, of course, there's the, uh, the little comment boxes below or message me. And I hope everybody had a good weekend, despite not being at the retreat. How about that? And uh, I saw that everybody had fun at StitchCon. There was, there, there was, uh, there were a lot of my friends over at StitchCon having a great time, so I'm happy for them too. It's just too bad that we weren't all together, although I don't know if I can handle all that. It's just way too much fun. I'm getting too old for this crap, right? <laughs> Little bits. I will see you in a week and a day, maybe, and I hope uh, everybody's doing well. Don't forget, don't let anyone steal your sunshine.